This is the Line Sakana. I've been so excited to get on this thing ever since I saw it. It is a narrower, slightly stiffer younger brother to the Pescado, which I absolutely adored as well. And this is a little bit more versatile for most of the, your skiers that are going to be wanting a, a ski that you can use everywhere. It's just, it's just unbelievable wherever you go. And I know you must hear that with every ski review that you've heard, but this honestly is insane. It's my favorite ski I've seen, and it just performs incredibly as well. It has got this sick rooster tail, which just, I don't know if that's why I like it so much, but it's just, look at it, it's awesome. It is the one ski to do it all. It is my favorite ski of the year, bar none. You've got big rocker nose and the fishtail. When you're in soft snow, this thing is working like fins on a surfboard, so it just grips like you're on piece and you can rip around really short turns. But then when you're on the hard snow, you've got a really tight turn radius from what looks like a massive freeride ski, and it, it just carves around like a, like a race ski. Sometimes with big freeride skis, there's too much rocker in the nose, so it flaps around when you're on hard snow. But what Lion have done is just make it really mellow, so the ski's not too heavily lifted, doesn't bounce around at all. I don't know what else to say about it really, it's the most fun ski I've ever skied on. Konnichiwa and welcome to the uh, Gold Tour. We're uh, skiing the Sakana and uh, Sakana is actually Japanese for fish, dried fish, according to the universal source which is Wikipedia. But uh, the important thing here we have today is this has been designed by Eric Pollard. This is an awesome ski, awesome looking, it's got a fish tail uh, and it's great on piste and off piste. What do you think Johnny? Into the turn, through the turn, no stress. I tell you what, Lion are going to have to fight me to get this back off. <laughs> and uh, in these conditions today, when it's kind of really, really soft, it kind of plows through. You can see the, the tip of the, uh, the ski here. It just allows you to float up and underneath. And then at the end of the turn, when you're out skiing along on the, on the groomers, it's got this little fish tail at the bottom. kind of gives you a little bit of fun zing at the end of it. It's really, really a lot of fun. I think uh, it's been one of the skis that uh, a lot of people enjoyed. And not only that, it looks great too. Absolutely. So easy to turn. And even when you're on the piece, you can do some big carvey fast turns and they're so good. It's perfect for any conditions, especially on a day like today when it's a bit snowy, a bit bumpy. I'm a ski racer, it's the widest ski I've ever skied on. Don't be afraid of a bit of girth.